Greetings guys, my name is Elio and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we will be taking a look at Tessai for the next character review in Bleach Immortal Souls. So let's go ahead and get this party started you guys. Alright, so Tessai, as we can see right here, is an SSR. He is a tank type, and his main selling point is his ability to reflect damage, which can be very, very annoying, especially if you've ever fought him in PvE. It is extremely annoying. But let's go over here and check out his skills. Alright, so for his first skill, final incantation, Bankin Fatal Seal. Uh, it's his combo skill. Uh, this deals damage to a single enemy and there's a 50% chance to silence the target for one round. Now this works like e extremely identical if not the same as Matsumoto's silence skill on her uh, first skill. I didn't know that Tessai until this video actually had the same moveset which is actually quite interesting. Um, to say the least. But he is a black tortoise while uh, Matsumoto is a Azure Dragon I believe. I believe she's an Azure Dragon. But um, exactly as it sounds with Matsumoto, he has ability to silence one unit, which 50% chance is a good probability. Obviously more towards PvP because of the recent buff or recent fixing of enemies in PvE. Some of the PvE enemies just have disgusting resist on them and it's harder to hit with silence. But very, very useful, especially in PvP. For his rage skill, uh, hear you... Gekizoku Shinten Raho, Reho, I totally just dis destroy that. This one still deals damage to a column of enemies. The target's uh, attack is decreased by 12% and it lasts for two rounds. And of course, once his weapon is awakened, the attack and re reflect damage greatly increases as well as his refre reflect damage rate increases as well. So I'm assuming once he has his uh, weapon buffed up, Apparently he gets more reflect damage, which is always nice to have uh, this move in itself is More just as a debuff as a column of enemy for a column of enemies It's only hitting two which honestly isn't that amazing I do wish it was maybe like three or like a row of enemies instead of a column But I mean at least for the harding harder hitting units You could use this move and hopefully shave some damage off of them from hitting you which does work uh, in your favor But I think I like his combo skill more with the silence so for his fourth star, which is Uehara's uh, shop employee When he is alive he increases his reflect damage rate. He also in increases the reflect damage rate of ally Uehara's shop by 15% I don't I don't really understand why that's what okay. It's the characters. Okay. Yeah, it's the characters I was like, what is what does that even mean? So he also increases the reflect rate of the characters from Uehara's shop which I would hope consists of Urahara, and then the other two people which aren't really that good to begin with, but videos on them later. But basically this move right here gives him a higher percentage for his uh, reflection rate, which is the main selling point of Tissai. Being able to silence the unit and being able to essentially reflect damage, um, p punishing another person for hitting him is his main selling point. So let's go over here to the War Souls, which is very, very easy to pick out for him in my opinion. And I will leave it to the text to do the explaining. So alright guys, uh, that's the War Souls I decided to go with Tessai. You don't necessarily need to follow that, but as a unit that is just built around reflecting damage back to the enemies and then being able to silence them, and in some cases also nerf their attack by a little bit, uh, he's a unit that I definitely want to reflect as much damage as possible to the enemy just because he's made for that. And now with Yuki Or being in the game, um, a lot of Black Tortoise's compositions are a lot more viable now than ever. Uh, I'm not saying that it's the current meta, but definitely a uh, character that I would use if I was going to use a Black Tortoise team. But that's pretty much Tessa in a nutshell. Just keep that dude tanky, keep him reflecting damage, let him do his silences, 
and you've got Tessai. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully, it's short and sweet, which is the way I like to keep it. Tessai, in my opinion, is a great character. Uh, he does his job well as a tortoise, aka more of a tank type character. And that's pretty much all that you need. So be safe out there, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.